Okay, so today what we are going to do is we are going to learn the second way that we are going to be graphing and that is graphing intercepts. And today is 11, two. So just for review, we currently know y equals mx plus b. And this is slope intercept form. And remember my m represents my slope and my b represents my y intercept. So when we talk about intercepts, we're talking about where does my line cross the axis? And if it crosses the y-axis or the um, x-axis, then it's crossing a point on the graph. And so when we write a point from the graph, we write x comma y. This would be a point on the graph. And the intercept is a point on the graph. So we will be writing all intercepts in this format. Okay, if you do not write it in this format, it will not be correct. So now that we've gotten really comfortable with our slope intercept form, we are going to start our new form and that form is called standard form. Okay, standard form. So this is the second way that a um, equation of a line can be written. And that would be AX plus BY equals C. So this right here is our standard form equation. One important thing to know is that A has to be greater than or equal to zero. And A and B must be integers. So that means that they have to be a whole number, a positive or a negative whole number, okay? It cannot be a fraction. That's what makes it standard form. Now, the point of standard form is we use it for systems of equations, which we will be learning, um, or we use it for the intercepts. So in order to have an x-intercept, That means it's only going to cross the x-axis. Then I'm going to have something that looks like this. x comma zero. This would be the ordered pair. And then to have my y intercept, then I need to have zero comma y. That means that it only will cross the y-axis. Questions about that? Okay, so then I'm gonna show you how we would go about solving for the y and x-intercepts if we were given a standard form equation. So my standard form equation is going to look like this, 5x plus 3y equals 30. So over here, we're gonna solve for the x-intercept. And when we look at our ordered pair, we can see that my y has to be set equal to zero. So in order to solve for x, my y has to be zero. Then 
I have my equation. 5x plus 3y equals 30. 5x plus 3 substitute 0 equals 30. 5x equals 30 because 3 times 0 is 0. So that went away. And then divide by 5, divide by 5. It got squishy, I apologize. So I have x equals 6. Now, if my x equals 6, my y equals 0. So my ordered pair will be 6 comma 0. This is the answer for my x-intercept. I have to write it as an ordered pair. If it's not an ordered pair, it is wrong. And then over here, I'm going to do my y-intercept. And when I'm solving for my y-intercept, my x is equal to 0. So here I have the 5x plus 3y equals 30. I have 5 substitute 0 plus 3y equals 30. I have 3y equals 30. Again, I apologize for the squishiness. Divide by 3, divide by 3. It's really squishy, y'all. I'm going to write over here, I guess. Y equals 10. Sorry that it's sideways. And then my ordered pair, my x is 0. It has to be 0 comma y. So this is going to be 0 comma 10. And that's my ordered pair. OK, we're going to do another one together. This time I'll have more room on my paper. So you will actually be able to see <laughs> what I'm doing. OK, so here's my standard form equation. I have 2x plus 3y equals 24. So x-intercept and then y-intercept. So if I'm solving for my x-intercept, that means my y has to be 0. Okay, my x is a number, my y is 0. So 2x plus 3y equals 24. That's just me rewriting the equation. Now I'm going to substitute 0 for y. 2x plus 3 substitute 0 equals 24. Now I'm going to simplify because 3 times 0 is 0. So 2x equals 24. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x equals 12. And then I'm going to write my intercept. So this will be 12 comma 0. Because this is x and this is y. And I know my y is 0 because that's what I substituted in. Now I'm going to say, yeah. Um, I, I don't know if this is really relevant, but like I have a question about the a and the b. Like, uh -huh. What do those stand for? Like two would be a and three would be b in this equation, right? Yeah. Okay, so what do they stand for? Um, nothing that we use them for. <laughs> so for us, we won't use the a and the b for anything. Um, eventually, they'll get used for some other stuff. Um, when we look at like quadratics and things like that. Okay, so y intercept, we put x equal to zero. So now I have 2x plus 3y equals 24. I substitute zero for x, so I have 2 times zero plus 3y equals 24. I simplify 2 times zero is zero. So I have 3y equals 24, divide by 3, divide by 3, y equals 8. So my ordered pair here would be 0, 8, and there you have it. Now, 
it's always nice to do a check to make sure that our math is correct, right? That should be a standard thing that we do. So here I have x equals 12 and here I have y equals eight. So if you substitute those in, then we would be checking to make sure that they work. So this one here is 12 comma zero. So I have, sorry, two x plus three y equals 24. So this would be two times 12 plus three times zero equals 24. This is 24 plus zero equals 24. 24 equals 24. So my math is correct there. And then on this side, I have 2x plus 3y equals 24. Here I'm going to have 2 times 0 plus 3 times 8 equals 24. This ends up being 24 is equal to 24. Okay, so my math is correct. Now let's take a look at how do we graph this. Now that we've solved it, how do we graph it? So remember, for starters, everyone should be graphing on graph paper. That's a standard that needs to happen. We also all need a straight edge. We also need to draw lines past the points with arrows on the ends. Now, I like to refer to this as a janky graph because we're doing it in our notes. It's okay that it's janky because it's in our notes. This would not be okay provided we were um, graphing like for homework or something. Okay, so my X intercept is if we look right back up here, 12 comma zero. So if I was to graph that, that means I need to go 12 over on my X axis. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then my y was zero, so I don't move up at all. So that's why it's just on the x-axis. And then my y intercept is zero, comma eight. So I start at zero, I don't go anywhere, and I go up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, my point goes there. So again, these are intercepts. This is where the line crosses the X and Y axis. That means that your line, your points have to be on the axis. Does that make sense to everybody? Right, like they're not over here somewhere. It should be touching those lines. Now that I've plotted both those points, I'm gonna go back and I am going to go ahead and connect my points. Whoop, that got crazy. Okay, so please notice my line is straight going through the two points. I've extended the line past the points and then I need arrows on the ends. And now I have graphed this in standard form.